Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and I am here with a Timu haul for you today. Let's do a couple things and then we'll talk. This, okay, so the last couple videos I did on a good hair day, I actually, you know, made an effort. You can see that today was a work from home day and um, it, it's not, it's not going well. <laughs> it's not, uh, or I should say it didn't, I mean, yeah, so I point that out all the time, but this video, we've got a, a local warehouse wig. So I'm kind of excited to try it. It's a, it's a um, lace front and yeah, so we'll see. So maybe by the end of this video, I'll be looking a little bit better. <laughs> we, we can only hope, right? All right, first things first. Well, let's, I guess we'll do this. So we have a pretty necklace. It looks like a, <coughs> what do you call it when it, it's not a gemstone, right? It's just natural stone. So it looks like this. I don't know if we're going to find that this is resin or, or what, but it's a definitely a statement piece, right? With yellow and blues and browns. I really love this center stone, but um, it looks like it's got, <coughs> it looks like it's got bubbles in it. So that's why I'm wondering if it's like a stone that's been coated in resin. Well, we'll see when we look it up. But anyway, it's like this. And then it's got kind of your leather four strand cord. And <laughs> it's not a good look. It's not a good look. Um, so yeah, so it will look really nice with something, you know, plain, something plain. Do I have anything plain? I mean, look how pretty that is. So yeah, it's a really, it's a nice length. It, you know, cause some, sometimes you get these statement necklaces and they go down so far. So I really like that this one isn't um, like that, but it's a, it's really feels like a really good quality necklace. Let's see, now it's like I'm wearing a bib. All right, I paid $3.99. I got three price adjustments. It is currently ah, sold out. So it's it's sold out since I created my price sheet. Well, that's kind of a bummer. But it is a boho chic long ceramic necklace. So ceramic. Really? Uh, I'm, I'm curious if, can you really make ceramic that looks like a natural stone? Maybe so. But anyway, there are other, there's, there's a lot of other similar, like here's, here's one that's like similar style, just totally different colors. So, and, and it's a ceramic bead necklace too. So if you just do a search on ceramic bead necklace, uh, you might find something you like. I am going to leave the link here though, just in case it comes back in stock, uh, at some point, then the link will still work. All right. So we've got that. We'll move that. And then next... So I've been on a towel buying kick. I guess I'm tired of, actually, I don't, I don't really have a lot of decorative towels. I bought some decorative towels that were kind of Halloween themed from Marshall's, 
but and then I've I've gotten like one other set of towels on Timu, but I really I have Norwex stuff and it's kind of bland. I mean they're like solid colors. So oh and this is only one. Oh I thought I was getting two. Well that's okay. So anyway, this is what it looks like. So it's another gnome themed towel. The other ones that I got recently were gnome themed. Life Happens, Coffee Lover, Coffee Helps. So that's cute. It's it's the same style as the other one that I got. So it's kind of this kind of suede material here that kind of you, you can kind of lift it up by brushing it or whatever. And then it's, this one's like that on both sides. So it's, it's a really soft, I don't, I guess we'll see how absorbent it is. Um, but yeah, I just put these on my stove oven handle and they seem to work out pretty good. And they're, they're cheap on Timu. I mean, probably not as cheap as the Dollar Tree, but you can get a lot more variety from Timu. All right, so I paid two oh three, and it is currently three fifty six. Now, see, this says towel set, soft and absorbent coffee gnome kitchen towel set. So wouldn't you think you'd get two for that for for that with that word? Um and it's it's great for those who appreciate fantasy themed home goods. So yeah, I I really thought um I don't know why you call it a towel set when there's only one. So you're only getting one in the listing and all the pay, all the pictures only show one. So I just don't always scroll through all the pictures. I guess I should, but, but yeah. Okay. So that's two things. So now we can talk a little. So today fall decided to descend on St. Louis. Well, actually probably yesterday started raining last night and it's rained all day which is typical for fall because it's got to rain to get all the leaves off the trees. But the, the fact that it's combined with daylight savings, fallback time this weekend, it really stinks because for those of us that just don't like this time of year in terms of seasonality, um, it just stinks because now it's like cold and wet and dreary and it's supposed to like rain all day again tomorrow. Like right now, this is Monday night and the radar here, I mean, this is what we're talking about. <laughs> so, and if I zoom out, like the whole state of Missouri is still covered in stuff. So it's not going to end anytime soon. Ugh. And now that all that to say, we did have weeks and weeks of great weather leading up to this where we had hardly any rain. And so I'm sure the ground needs the rain and everything, but it's just the rain combined with the less amount of light is just depressing. So I don't know. Hopefully it won't last long. And hopefully, I don't know. I mean, looking at that radar, it feels like it's never going to end. But hopefully for people that still need to vote tomorrow, uh, hopefully that won't deter people from getting out and voting. Um, and if you're someone who's, I, I hope, I hope all of you who are living in the United States and are of legal voting age are voting. I don't care how you vote. <laughs> I just hope you're voting. Make your voice heard. <laughs> but tomorrow is, well, because it's election day, all the schools are out because all of our schools are polling places. So I asked for the day off so that we could do stuff together as a family. So I'm probably going to film two videos tonight just so I don't have to film anything tomorrow. But that's, that's my life right now.
wet and dreary. It makes me want to get some hot cocoa, get under the blankets, and watch some good TV. All right, let's get started on the wig things. So first, I was talking on a, pre a previous video when I got some clips. I was saying how I had ordered some wig clips. And these are what I was talking about for wig clips. So they're very similar to the other barrettes that I showed, except they've got these extra tines or whatever you would call them. So these are supposed to be good for getting your hair out of the way when you want to put your hair up. Now, right now I've just got my hair in a, a little um, ponytail that I didn't pull all the way through, but I'm gonna start over kind of and We'll just use some of these to kind of get hair out of the way. But you just put it in. The good thing about this kind of barrette, even if you don't have a lot of hair, because it bends, it holds it in. So, you know, a lot of traditional barrettes, you have to have a lot of hair for them to work, but these really, you really don't. And because they have those teeth on them, they are very, that's like an extra, an extra thing to get um, them into place. So I, I'm going to use more than I need just because, just trying to hold hair down. But some people braid their hair before they put it up. I'm gonna try to just do a ponytail. So just a little, and I missed some, of course. I know I'm not close enough for you to see, partly because I don't want you to have to look at my psoriasis and stuff, but, but yeah, so this, I think the color was metal. I'll look that up, but they're, they have all kinds of colors of these too. Not that they show obviously when you're wearing them, but well, you could wear them just as regular barrettes. I mean, it would, it would stay in your hair better than probably most other barrettes. You get, in this set that I have, I paid $5.59, I got three price adjustments, and it's metal color. Now, the picture made it look a little bit darker of a brown. This really feels more like a, like a dark apricot or a khaki kind of color. So, you could look for ones that kind of match your hair color, but again, that would be if you wanted to wear them just to wear them, because you could, but, um, but yeah, obviously under a wig they won't show, but yeah, in the picture they look darker. Oh, <sighs> sorry, gosh darn it. Let me turn on my Do Not Disturb. Well, now I'm going to have to figure out if I can clip that out. And so if you didn't see anything, I, I clipped it out. <laughs> Why don't I ever think to put my phone on Do Not Disturb before I start filming this? Or think, I don't need to show you my phone all the time. But anyway, you get 24 if I didn't say that. And they are metal hair clips, double grip snap, hair barrettes, minimalist, drop shape, non-slip design. All right. I feel like there was just something, um, either some big thunder just happened upstairs, like the whole house shook. <laughs> so hopefully we're okay. 
All right, next I got this. This is a wig stand. So I have a styrofoam head. This is a different option to put, to have a stand for a wig. I'm actually, I think, going to invest in, you can get on Timu the kind of cloth heads that go with a tripod. And I thought that might be nice because then I could have it kind of sitting here and I could actually style it with my heat tools and stuff. So that's, that's a possibility, maybe. Okay, now, um, I don't know how these go together. I'm just kind of guessing because I see these two slits that they go together like that. And then putting it together in the groove kind of here. And then this it doesn't appear it appears that both sides of this are the same. So I'm just going to try and put them in these little spots. So I think that that's right. So I think that that seemed fairly easy and then you have a head that you can sit on something. Now I'm I'm not really going to be displaying wigs like some people probably um I don't know. I guess I'm making an assumption like like if you're on a set or something you might have them displayed, but I I did order <coughs> bags to hold wigs too but okay so we've got this and this is all plastic very cheap it's it sits pretty flatly and I paid a penny for that so that would have been a daily box deal and which means that let me see if it's daily box or if it's daily, daily box, daily box 777. So when you do that, usually one of the four boxes that you get is 99% off of whatever you can pick up in a minute and you can only get five things in that minute. So that was a penny. If you wanted to buy it, it would cost you a dollar forty one so very cheap and it also comes in green and black and my guess is I didn't have a choice of the color when I was doing it for the the daily box seven 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 okay and it is a one piece wig stand holder portable collapsible wig head stand so that's one advantage to this style is that you can take it apart and travel with it if you needed to. Whereas my styrofoam head and the cloth head that I want to get, you're kind of out of luck. It's always going to be that size. So yeah, but I wanted to try that to see, to see. All right, next, this is some washcloths. I have some of these, but they're like maybe this wide, but maybe this long. So I thought I would try getting just the, it's all, they're almost like potholder size, but yet still a little bit smaller even than that. They come vacuum sealed. And they're really soft. They're microfiber and you get a cute little postcard with it. Your satisfaction will be our unremitting pursuit. Bloom Sesame. Dear friends, thank you for choosing our store. Um, 
Oh, well, listen to this. Has your order been delivered to you? We are concerned about the status of each order. Please feel free to contact us if your order is defective or incomplete. We will provide a solution for you immediately. And you can ask us any question regarding the operation or usage. Yeah, you might, you might have questions on how to wash it, but using it. We or Amazon Customer Service Center will refund you or provide replacements for free if the product fails to satisfy your demands. In addition, we use feedback from customers as incentives for our employees and enhancement for our service. Please leave your product reviews if possible. Thanks. All of us will do our utmost to make each customer feel that it's good to buy things from the store. We look forward to serving you again. Bloom Sesame Customer Service. Well, that's nice. Okay, there's some serious thunder going on upstairs. Um, hopefully the power doesn't go out during this. Right as I'm getting the wig put on, the power will go out and I won't be able to see anything. Well, I have my phone, but okay. Um, so yeah, so that's nice. So they must also sell also sell their stuff on Amazon. I did, I did buy it straight from Timu. It was not a local warehouse purchase. But it's six, you get six multi, multi-fiber, microfiber cloths. And they have a nice little hanging thing here. So yeah, I mean, this is a good size for, I mean, when I use a washcloth, I fold it up to this size anyway. And then I just, you know, unfold it and fold it differently to get different sides of it. So this I'll just, you know, both sides are the same texture. And these are great for all kinds of beauty applications, but it is multi, it is microfiber. So you need to be sure to not wash it with cotton and those kind of things. You only wash your microfiber with other microfiber so that it doesn't lose its um, specialness. You don't want it to get linty because then it's just like everything else. All right. I paid. Oh, now I feel like I've got fuzz in my nose. I paid $3.55 and I got one price adjustment. And it is currently for the one I got $3.39, but they also have gray and salmon orange which really looks like a light pink in the picture all for the same price three not 339 for six now you could get 12 they also have 12 packs for five um those are different based on color so they range from around the six dollar mark so yeah, I think I'm going to like those because really you get six, so you could use one for each day of the week, wash them, and then, and then go. I mean, how many of you change your washcloth each day? I started doing that once I got um, Norwex because I had enough that I could do that with. And yeah, I really like that. So that's a pretty good set in my opinion. All right. Next, should we, oh, well, let's do this. This is another wig thing. This is the container, the bag to hold the wigs. So I've, I've gotten these before on from Timu, like a set of five maybe. And I remember thinking at the time, I wish I had a bag to go with it. Well, then I found the sets that have the bag. So they look like this and let me separate these. So they have a hole up here, which you would, you know, stick your hanger through. So you unzip it. Okay, you always have to zip like twice to get to get it to actually open. 
All right, so it opens up like this and it's nice and long. So if you have some of those 24, 26, six inch wigs, they should fit in here, I would think. And you put the wig on the hanger, which we'll do, we'll do before I put it on. And then you can hang it like this and then it keeps it all dust free, but yet gives you a panel to, so you can see which wig it is. So, you know, if, like, it's trying to come out, but it won't when it's got the wig on, I'm assuming. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. And if this works well, then I probably will get some more of these because I did decide to keep some of the Timu wigs that I've hauled on here before. I want to, like I said, get the stand so that maybe I can change up the style a little bit and um because some of them you know had bangs and the bangs were just a little too long so they need to be snipped and yeah so I don't know if this is a new venture for me <laughs> but I, it, I mean I'm a perfect candidate for being a wig wearer so uh that those wig bags what do they call those? Wig storage bags. I paid $3.99 to get two and I got one price adjustment and it is, for the purple that I got, it's $4.49. Oh, it's $4.49 for every color. It comes in black, pink, rose red, and purple. And it's just a two pack wig storage bags with transparent windows and two hooks. Durable zippered hair extension holder. Oh, well, that's a good point. It could be for hair extensions or toppers or any of those kind of things. But yeah, I thought that would be, because right now I've just been storing them all in the bags they came from, from Timu. So they, like if you did want to style it, it gets all, the way I do it, it just gets all bunched back up and put in the bag. So it kind of, this might help it keep its style a little better, better. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and do the wig next just so we can wear it for the rest of the video. So it comes with a wig cap. This is a genuine luxury wig. The hair you worth. The hair you worth. Ugh. So these, some of these companies need, um, need some help with their proofreading. All right. So this is the nicer kind of wig cap. I've gotten some wig caps that are kind of like fishnet stockings. And I like this style better, pantyhose style. Uh, I don't know if it's better or not, but they call it a deluxe wig cap. It's one size fits all. Thin stow king fabric and for wig wearers paul yester material i can't help it you guys i can't help it i feel like there should be excellence in in proofing ability all right oh you get two so that's nice that's really nice for when you get some that don't have one, because then you can just put, you know, each wig can have its own. All right, so th they are kind of small, so it does kind of feel like you're really kind of stretching it over your head. And I haven't figured out the best way to get these on. without just everything going everywhere. All right, so, you know, if you're gonna use a wig cap, you probably don't need the barrettes, right? So me putting the barrettes in was kind of overkill, but I do find it sometimes a little difficult to get the wig cap on and not have hair just everywhere. Like, see how it's sticking out? 
get under there and it it a little bit feels like it wants to pop off so let's see if I can pull it down around my nape a little bit better um okay so see then I've always got this because I don't want the wig cap going over my ears so I hope the more I do this, the better I will get <laughs> at it. Um, I mean, that seems reasonable. And of course, having my glasses on. Oh, well, there's not much I can do about the rest of that. So, um, it's like I want to pull it back just a little bit. All right. So there's probably a little bit sticking out, but that should be hidden. All right, so about this wig, where is the, oh, it just came like this, right? So it didn't have a, this was a local warehouse, so maybe that's why it doesn't have one of the Timu stickers to say, you know, whatever they say. So this wig. I paid $22.49. I got two price adjustments. It is a 20 inch ombre brown with mixed blonde. So it's a blonde highlighted lace front wig. It's currently, excuse me, $21.36. And 20 inches, I think the, the human hair wig that I ordered I ordered a, I think I ordered a 20 inch for it too, because it, whenever you're ordering a, a wig from where you have a choice of straight or wavy or curly, they usually have a picture that shows, well, if it's straight, a 20 inch is going to come down a lot farther than it would on a wavy or a curly, right? So it gives you kind of markers so that you can kind of adjust and I think I went a little bit longer than I would normally wear just in case I want to trim it up myself but okay so this one comes in the net and like I said I'm learning terminology so bear with me if I get some of this wrong but it's got this lace front and that means that you've got sewn knots where the hair is hand sewn into this lace to give it more of a natural kind of look. Now I will say that these knots are not bleached at all. So some people talk about like you can see you can see the knots there. So some places give you the option to get lightly bleached knots or even fully bleached knots, but they say if you do fully bleached, that makes it um, more prone for the knots to fall out or to break. So they, I've, I've heard that they recommend just lightly bleached, but this doesn't have any, but being that it's brown up here at the crown, then that may not matter so much. But some people take chalk to kind of hide the knot look and some people take concealer like a flesh colored concealer and kind of just dab it on here and and so that it's not as noticeable but anyway this one's got lace from it looks like from ear to ear and inside it does have some combs and you can see it's this one's got a nice amount of lace so I should be able to part it change change up the part within this kind of a space some Timu wigs have a very thin layer for the lace so that your part looks authentic but you can't really move it around still but this one definitely has more space to move around and then it's got kind of a I think this is called the weft, weft, wefting, weft, I don't know, I need to learn, but it's kind of a lacy, um, 
it's it's definitely higher quality than some of the Timu wigs that I've gotten. So it's got that. And then it's got the adjustable straps that you can use to tighten it around your nape. And why didn't I bring a brush, you guys? But anyway, this one is kind of a wavy look. So let's, let's look at what it looks like first before... So it just looks like kind of beach waves to me. This this particular mannequin is not as happy as some of the mannequins are. But yeah, because of the lace in front, I should be able to do some more things with it up at the front. Oh, and here's an example of the length guide. So a lot of good wig companies have that. Okay, so there's kind of the back. So I kind of feel like at first glance, I feel like these waves are a little bit better than the picture, but the color, the, the color is pretty good. Um, it feels pretty natural in terms of, you know, I don't know if you'd call this balayage, <laughs> I pronounce that, but there, there is, there's a term balayage. I'm just going to say balayage because that's how it's spelled, but where it's almost like you get a sun-kissed um, highlights because you know how sometimes you can get these wigs and you can see where the hot, like where the highlights are, but this is very, the it's, it's really blended really well. And I'm really regretting that I didn't bring a brush down here. So maybe I'll wear this wig in the next video too and we'll brush it. But anyway, okay, I think I'm ready to put it on. And I have a big head, so so far I've not found the need to use the adjustable straps, but they do have little um there's little holes in this so that you can you don't have to you don't have to strap them to each other. You could, but you could also just inch it in depending on your need. All right. I feel like this lace is gonna be in the way when I try to put it on. <laughs> All right, so, wow, this is, like, really dense. I mean, look how much hair there is. Holy cow. Okay, so I, now, when you get a lace front wig, you have to cut the, you have to trim the lace yourself. I'm not going to do that on camera because I have never done it before and I want to kind of be careful with this. But see, the lace comes all the way down here. And then here you can see where I've got the cap. So how, how much of the lace you cut off just really depends on kind of where you feel you want your hairline to be, really. So I'll put it here just because of... Um, the cap I'm wearing, but look at that. They've, so they've like, they've made a natural looking hairline that, you know, if my glasses weren't in the way, it would go all the way down here. It really doesn't, I don't, I, I wouldn't need to glue this, I don't think, which is good because that kind of makes me a little bit nervous thinking about, um, trying to do that. But see, this net goes all the way around. So once I cut that part, then this part will lay better and I'll put my glasses on after, perhaps. So yeah, but I really do need a, I really do need, <laughs> need a brush. This is a hot, hot mess, kind of. The other thing to keep in mind, because they make it, um, um, lace front up here, 
pay attention to what kind of, you know, if you're wearing a, a band, it's going to show through in some of these parts. Now, I should be able to change the part. And I've watched videos, and a lot of times when people try to change the part where you can change it to see, then it just shows a different. But you might need to use a heat tool to get it to actually, you know, stay in place. So, but this is a lot of hair, you guys. So the human hair one that I ordered or that is being sent to me is 120 density. This one feels like it's probably 150 if I were guessing. But anyway, so I think I've got the wig cap down too low. But I want to get this kind of pushed out of the way. Okay, what does it look like in the back? Okay, well, I'm not going to lie. It looks like kind of a hot mess in the back. So it really, really needs to be brushed. Yeah, so it, it definitely needs to be brushed. I can't believe of all the things I forgot to bring a brush down here. But, so, but you can, because you know, it's got the lace, you know, I can pull it, pull it back. Because a lot of those Timu ones, you just start seeing the rows of stitching right away. But this one's got a lot of um, possibility. <laughs> now, we're not going to, we're not pretending that, that I'm, what I'm doing looks awesome right now. This definitely, from what I understand, when you get a new wig, it takes some work to get it to look like how you want. But I'm just going to use a couple of these just to, but it has a lot of hair on this one, you guys. Oh. So I think this has got potential, but man, it's making me hot, 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 hot. Oh, and I said I was going to put this on the stand before I put it on me. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, so I think this is a lot of hair, a lot. Okay, let's, let's look and see what it says about this. Does it say, I'm really curious about the weight of it or the density, but I don't see anything that says what density it is. Like, I feel like, I feel like I've got way more hair than she's got here. So... So yeah, I think this could be fun though. If I can get it, the other thing you can do too, um, which I'm definitely gonna try with some of the wigs that I get. Yeah, this is so much hair. So you can thin it, right? You could take it to your hairstylist and have it thinned. I'm really curious if I washed it, would, um, would it get out some of these waves? Like, would it become straight and then I could add my own, my own waves to it? But I'm going to try to get this kind of out of the way so that I can take a picture. Well, that's not, that's, that's not going to work. But, um... I think the color, though, 
I think the color is very natural looking color. I just, it, it really needs some TLC. And I felt like it was looking a lot shorter in the back. So I might, it, that might make me want to, you know, trim, trim some of it just for that purpose. But it, it feels, I mean, it feels pretty sturdy. Like, I don't feel like I would have to work, you know, I, I don't think I'd have to glue it. So, yeah, it just, obviously, I need to cut off the lace and, but otherwise, I think it's got a really good hairline. So, I could easily pull it back. all kinds of barrettes. Okay, well, I didn't get it all in there, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Vern? Did you guys watch those movies a long time ago? Vern goes camping. Merry Christmas, Vern. I don't know what all of them were, but all right. Well, <laughs> I, this does look like a hot mess. It definitely needs some work, but it's got potential. I I I I like it more than the other Timu wigs that I've gotten. I think mostly because the color feels so natural. Like some of those wigs that I got, it was like black and then gray. Like there was no good um transition and this one just feels really yeah I love it that's probably better so let's take a picture even though this looks <laughs> this looks funny oh yeah this is not going to entice anybody to want to buy this wig but I hope to at some point I mean, I'm going to film another video probably wearing this, but at some point I hope to actually show you after I've cut it and everything and have tamed it down. And maybe I'll tame it down with you guys. Maybe I just make a video about that for those of you that just hang around for the chit chat. So, all right, let's, <laughs> like, no makeup. I mean, what is going on? All right, so yeah, I I am impressed with this wig. I so maybe there's something to be said about local warehouse wigs compared to Timu wigs, but it does need to be brushed. So I'm gonna get something before the next video. All right, let's keep going. We don't have too many more items here. All right, we got a set of lights. We're getting into. Christmas season, right? Halloween's gone. So now I'm looking for ways to put things to light up in the yard that don't really take any bat or power. Like they're all solar powered. Timu's got a ton of that kind of stuff. But these would also work on a Christmas tree, you know, although it is solar solar powered so forget what I said about the Christmas tree but anyway it comes with a stake that you put together and that's what this goes on now I get I got a kind of a not very nice complaint in a foreign language that I don't do a good job showing, properly showing my products on here. So I apologize. I am an amateur, you guys. I don't, I don't work for QVC. I'm like, you, I know most of you could care less. You know, you're just here for the fun and stuff. But, but I was like, so I did delete. I, I thought about just giving it a thumbs down on the comment and then, but then I think I just deleted it. But anyway, 
So here, you put this in the ground and then you can string these lights up wherever. And here I was thinking I would be able to kind of, um, sometimes when you get a solar thing, you can cover it and the stuff will turn on. Oh, there's an on off. There's an on off button and then a mode. So let's try those. Oh, it just flashed. Oh, see, there you go. Oh, let's turn off the lights. Ooh. Okay, well, that was the um, stake just fell down. So we've got red and yellow, blue and green. Well, those are really pretty, you guys. Okay, so it's flickering. Oh, it's doing different things. It does have a mode button back here. So I just pushed it and now we're getting... So maybe, oh, what happened over here? Okay, well, if there's one of those you like better than another, or you can just have it on. So I'm not sure what I'm going to put these on. Somewhere, maybe I'll just string them along the sidewalk up to the porch. I don't know. Or, or I need to maybe... I need to wrap them around something, right? But what am I going to wrap them around? I don't have bushes. I have a huge oak tree, but this wouldn't even go around the oak tree once, I don't think, because it's a huge oak tree. Oh, I do have the tree that we have in memory of our daughter Gretchen. I could maybe string it up on that. That might be a good idea. All right, so power off. So... Um, yeah, this, this will hopefully stay put better once it's actually in the ground and I'm, you know, not moving it around, but seems like a nice, a nice set of lights. And let's get the light back on so you can see this monstrosity that I've got <laughs> on and... Um, 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 I don't want the um lady coming after me. Okay. Solar powered lights. I paid $1.56 and they are currently, what? Hold on. They're currently seven sixty two. Well, I don't know that it's worth seven sixty two, but it was worth the dollar fifty six I paid. So I think that would mean that it had to be a lightning deal, since it didn't come down to a penny. Um, I think that it must have been on a lightning deal. So I guess I'd be watching if you like that, or do the picture search to see if there's a cheaper version. I got the twenty light strand. And which is in, the, you can get the colorful one like I got, or you can get warm white or white. And the 20 light sets are in the low $7 range. And the 30 light sets are in the upper $8 range. For 10 extra lights, <sighs> whatever. So I guess my advice would be watch for lightning deals because I wouldn't have paid seven something for those. I am too cheap for that. All right, next, I have a t-shirt. It's a really soft t-shirt and Pray on it, pray over it, pray through it. Yes, definitely. And it's all correctly spelled. And the, the iron-on is a little bit shiny. You might be able to see that a little bit. But it's, it's not as bad as some of them. And maybe because it's mostly print. 
but it is super soft. And how is it center wise? It doesn't look too bad for placement. I mean, not as like this one. Well, this one doesn't look too bad right now, but it's it's definitely more on that side. But, and I think this one must have been a deal too, because I wouldn't have normally bought the blue heather style. I much prefer the gray heather style, which I still don't know what the right term is for that. $265 is what I paid, and it's currently $454. It does come in dark gray, but it's twice the price for the dark gray. And it's available in sizes small to XXL. And it is called Cross and Pray Print Crew Neck T-shirt. So I really like that because, you know, as I'm going through stuff with life, just like we all are, especially things with my mom. Look at my ear sticking out. Um, sometimes that's all you can do is pray because there's no good answers coming up right then and there and sometimes you don't even know what to pray right have you ever had that where you're like you're speechless before God and so what I have found that helps me and gives me some peace is I will just when I don't know what to do I will just say the name Jesus over and over again and I know that the spirit will um, intercede on my behalf and and God knows what you need he doesn't even need you to ask but he likes for us to ask because he likes for us to talk to him. So I don't know. Those are just some little, <laughs> I need as much of that as I can get these days. So um, we always go and spend time with my mom on Saturdays while my dad goes to church. And this time she, I, I don't know who she, like she doesn't say my name anymore. And, or Jason's name anymore. So I never know if if she knows I'm her daughter or if I'm just a the neighbor to, that lives two doors down. Um, so I'm never sure because she doesn't use my name. And so, you know, when I go over there, I think she knows who I am because sometimes she'll say your dad. So that tells me that, that she does know who I am, but sometimes she doesn't. And... The next day this time, like the day after we had been there, she remembered that her sister and her sister's husband were had visited. So I, I was then one of the sisters. So, so that's just how Alzheimer's works, you guys. <laughs> you just got to roll with the punches. But, um, yeah, it's a little hard... Like when it comes, like my birthday is this month, my dad's birthday is this month, and now she might, she might remember my dad's birthday. I mean, she should remember that like more than mine, but it's been since 2020. She hasn't said happy birthday to me since 2020, so it's a little, a little hard and a little not great, you know, having, I mean... I'm not, I don't get mad about it, right? You just get kind of a little sad and then you move on because that's just how this disease works. And so but there's lots and lots of people that are, are nice and say happy birthday to me. You know, obviously on Facebook, you know, Facebook, unless you have that hidden, you always get a ton of um, people saying it on there. And yeah, so... We'll see. But, uh, okay, one last thing. This is, uh, this was inspired or influenced by Hey Everybody. I've gotten this exact same sweater in kind of a rusty reddish brick kind of color. But I also got it in this nice apricot the new word for khaki and it is a really good quality sweater best 
so it's got really nice stitching. I mean, the design is just great. I love it. So you've got all these different patterns. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is that it's shorter in the front than in the back. <coughs> Excuse me. And for me, this shorter layer is just a smidge below my waist, my natural waistline. So that, it's like I want to put it on a stretcher, right? And just stretch it. Um, so that's my only thing that I don't like about it. But it's such a classy looking look. And, you know, so it looks like this. It's definitely, you could definitely wear it to, um, you know, to work, to church, to anywhere. Business casual. And the back is just plain. And this one is doing a... No, it's not. Okay, so the other one that I got, this was folded up too. So you kind of, when you wash it the first time, you need to do some extra work to kind of flatten that out to get it retrained. Because the way they fold it to put it in the bag to come to you folds that part up but it's a very nice quality sweater for Timu. And it is, I paid $7.55 and it's got, I got one price adjustment and it is currently $12.26, but watch for sales. It also comes in red, well, okay, so they're calling it red, but it's kind of like a brick red and it also comes in black oh black would be a good one to have too I may have to it looks like wait oh this is a one size fits all so that can get tricky so I normally get a XXL on the women's side or a 1XL on the plus side So this is how it would look for me. So it's, I'm probably, I'm probably the biggest size that should wear this. So keep that in mind if you like it. Uh, you probably need to be in that small end of the plus side or the large end of the women's side for you to feel comfortable in it. Yeah, it's kind of, that's tricky, right? To have a sweater that's one size fits all. I mean, geez, it's probably swimming on people that are smalls. But anyway, it's a solid V-neck netted, knitted vest. For young women, casual fashion enthusiasts, spring and fall, outdoor activities. And it looks like it's made out of rayon, but it doesn't feel like rayon. It feels like a regular cotton knit, really. And it's, it's soft. 89% of people say it fits true to size. Well, what? The <laughs> I don't know how you make that comment when it's a one size fits all. But they did. So... So yeah, so that is it for this haul. Thank you for stopping by for wig extravaganza. Is that what I should call this video? See, I feel like it, I feel like this would look nice cut like right here, but I don't know. Probably, I'm, I'm only just saying that because that's where the natural wave is, but it would it would feel more natural to me to be shorter than that. But okay, so I'm going to be filming another video right after this, but I'm going to go up and get a brush so we can... So on that next video, I will be brushing my hair, I guess, because I, I already have to make one edit, and I want you to come back. <laughs> so I'll give you a reason to come back. But otherwise... Wherever you are, whenever you are, I hope you're having a great day. And until we meet again, take care of yourself. Bye.